Word problems, word problems. Are they sometimes a problem? Follow along as I share multiplication teaching tips. When to multiply, be sure to emphasize these two things. They should know to multiply if the word problem indicates an equal number of groups and a total needs to be found. It is important to first model several examples with your little ones using the gradual release method until they are able to work through problems independently. Let's see how this can be done using the cube strategy to solve a few problems and see how we can help develop students to become confident and better math problem solvers. Let's start by breaking down this word problem to see if it meets the criteria that requires multiplication to solve. This word problem reads, GameStop sold 25 video games in one day. If each game cost $35, how much money did they make? Referring to the cube strategy helps students to identify important numbers or information that is needed to solve the problem as well as signal words and identifying the question. Now let's examine the problem more carefully to see if multiplication is the operation needed to solve for this word problem. It states that each of the 25 games cost the same amount. Now, although it does not outright say equal groups, remind students that they can visualize or create mental pictures like this one, where they can picture how each game is the same amount. And since we know we need to find out how much money did the store make selling all 25 games, there are two operations that could actually be used to solve this problem. We can add 35 25 times. However, you want to help them understand that that would take a lot more time and to work more efficiently Multiplication would be the best operation to use to solve for this problem. To recap, this is a multiplication word problem since it refers to equal groups using the expression each game costs $35 and also that we need to find the total to determine how much the store made. Let's try another problem. An auditorium has 10 rows of seats. If each row has 12 seats, how many seats does the auditorium have? As always, we'll take time to identify important numbers as well as any signal words that may indicate an operation to use, and we'll also identify the question. Remind students to keep the question in the forefront of their thinking. That is the goal of solving the word problem. Now let's examine the problem more carefully to see if multiplication is the operation needed to solve for this word problem. Again, it states 10 rows with 12 seats in each row. Notice that the signal word each is present, and that implies that something is being evenly grouped, even though it is not directly stated. And students who struggle to recognize that could benefit from creating a mental picture. Since it states that there are 10 rows with 12 seats in each row, it could look something like this. Thinking back to the question, how many seats did the auditorium have? That requires us to find the total. Again, students may recognize that addition and multiplication can help you find the total. However, because this problem involves equal groups and you have to find the total, multiplication would be the most efficient strategy to use. Here's another example. If a candy store could sell 75 gumballs a second, how many gumballs could it make in 15 seconds? Utilizing the cube strategy, I will circle any important numbers, make sure to box any signal words, and be sure to underline the question, recognizing that that's the focus of solving the word problem. As a side note, you may want to encourage students to substitute the written form of the number into its standard form, which will lessen the chance for errors when it comes to calculating. Taking a second look at the word problem helps students to understand that not all word problems will have commonly used signal words that will clearly point to an operation that will be used. However, they can still visualize what is occurring by creating a mental picture. Thinking about the part where it says that a store can make 75 gumballs a second, we can possibly imagine it looking something like this. The expression a second can also be substituted with every or each. So again, we can see that something is being grouped. Every second, 75 gumballs are made. And that is being repeated 15 times. And some students may make the connection that repeated addition can be used. However, to solve for this problem more efficiently, multiplication would be the best operation. To recap, we would multiply for this particular word problem since it refers to equal groups and we need to find the total. Looking for more videos similar to this one? Be sure to check out this playlist.